University of Chicago. And if you look around, you see some pretty amazing stonework. Everything from cool carved arches to gargoyles. Years ago, a 10-year-old boy named Walter Arnold rode his bike through this campus every day and made up his mind that one day he would carve stones like these. Now he's one of only 30 professional stone carvers in the country who can do it all. And we get to meet him. All we have to do is head north to Elgin, Illinois. OK, I'm guessing I'm at the right place. Walter! Ah! Hi, Walter! Oh, hi. Hi, I'm Jill. Nice Thanks to meet for you. Coming. Oh, I feel like I have been transported to Italy. Wow. I have to say, this is one of the most breathtaking studios I've ever been in. Thank and you. I'm not just saying that. A quick look around a studio, and it's obvious the man can carve anything. Beautiful fountains, garden pieces, classic statues, whimsical gargoyles, you name it. When Walter was 20, he went to Italy and learned his craft from some of the world's best stone carvers. What would a stone carver from Italy, from the, well, let's just say 1915, what if he walked in here? What would he say about your work? Well, pretty much all the tools are the same. The only thing they'd have real trouble understanding is the telephone system. <laughs> Walter is known for his gargoyles, and he's going to show me one he's working on today. A true gargoyle is a water spout. So a true gargoyle really? is part of the drainage system to divert water off the building. What kind of stone is this? This is Indiana limestone. Probably half of what I do is Indiana limestone. It's a wonderful stone. It holds a lot of detail. It weathers well. It survives outdoors for hundreds of years. There are different chisels for different kinds of work. Some are just for blocking, others are for finishing, and so on. Walter carves in mostly limestone and marble. He gets it from a stone supplier that's been in business for more than 110 years. Walter's one of my favorite customers. We take the blocks of limestone and we cut them into manageable pieces so that Walter can put the finishing carving on it. Every size Walter asks for is different depending on the job. Some pieces will be as much as 2,000 pounds or some may be as small as 200 pounds. By the way, what are we making? It'll be a keystone. We'll put a little gargoyle face in it. Now we need to take it down to this line, so for heavy rough out, I'll use what's called a pitching tool. Yep, that'll work. So here, why don't you give it a try? Okay, ready? I'll give it a good smack. There ah, you go. I got it! And now we're ready to carve the gargoyle's face. So now you can see where the face is going to be. OK, I see. This is the nose. Yeah. Eyes. Yeah. Walter will now trust me to shape the other side of the gargoyle's nose with a vibrating chisel. So you hold this in your hammer hand. OK. Hold this in your chisel hand. OK. And you'll have to hold it in there. And do I hold it in there now? Yeah. OK. Well, oh, here, let me give it a I'm already for yeah. Question. Yeah. I just did that for probably about, what, 10 seconds or so. My hands are almost numb. Basically, you let the tool do the work. Which I was not doing. Walter is so fast at this, a face appears within a few minutes of chiseling. That's a little better. It even has teeth. <laughs> Way cool. So Walter, I just wonder, what story you want to tell? What are you saying through your stone? To know we can do things directly in natural material with our hands and do things that are beautiful and that will talk to people hundreds of years away is just a wonderful piece of humanity. To perfectly wrap up Walter's story, I went back to the University of Chicago. Guess what? That is a Walter Arnold original gargoyle that he gifted to the university, and it's the first one that they've accepted in 50 years. Go, Walter.